What's up, it's Brandon from Tattooing 101, and today we're talking about step-by-step -step how to tattoo for beginners. So this video is going to be pointing on every single step you need to take in order to create a tattoo. The things that you might need to know before starting out or the things that I've picked up throughout the years to make everything easier for you. If you're new to this channel and you're an aspiring tattoo artist trying to get into this industry, make sure you like and subscribe down below to keep up to date on the content we make tattoo related each week. So let's get into how to tattoo for beginners. So first starting out, there's a couple of things you're going to need in order to be able to start tattooing. Obviously there's your tattoo machine, your fake skins, your needle cartridges, your ink, ink caps, all of these little things that are going to add up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a list of the things that you are going to need. There's a lot of things that you're going to overlook as well, just like bottles for your green soap, bottles for alcohol, um, Vaseline, all these little things that you're going to overlook. So that's why you want to make a list and even go over the list a couple times, making sure you have everything you need to start because you don't want to start tattooing on your practice skins and forget something. It's going to be super frustrating. So make sure you have everything you need to complete a tattoo before you start. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is focus on the designs that you are wanting to do. If you are first starting out, I recommend just doing straight lines. Print off a whole sheet of straight lines and start on your practice skins with those. Then from there, you could go on to different designs, small, very easy things to tattoo to just build up muscle memory for that. But I highly recommend if you are first starting out, start out with straight lines. I promise you will not regret it. So when you are practicing on these things, you're going to focus on a couple of different things. Your hand speed, your needle depth, and your voltage. All of those things are going to help you create a great tattoo. If you go too light in the fake skin, what's going to happen when you transition onto human beings? The ink is gonna fall out because it's not in that middle layer of skin, which is where you want the ink to reside. If you're practicing on fake skins and it goes too deep, obviously it's gonna cause blowouts, which no one wants because it causes extra trauma to the skin, trouble with healing, and also the line just looks super thick and will not hold up very good through time. So those are the main things you wanna focus on whenever you are first starting. Obviously, there's a ton more that goes into tattooing. Next would be how you are holding your machine. I highly recommend that you do three points of contact, which means your elbow against your side, your other hand holding your fake skin or pretending that you are stretching it out just so you get used to that method. And how you wanna hold your machine is going to be your middle finger is going to be underneath the cartridge if you're using a rotary style tattoo machine or a pen style. And on a traditional style machine, it'll just be under the tip right next to the tube and just holding it like you normally would a pencil, something like that with this part underneath the tip. You can see that my middle finger is held underneath there. You get really nice grip with this and it just feels really comfortable in the hand. So you could pull really nice long lines and use these two fingers as your depth finder. So you just kind of hold them down and get the perfect depth every single time. So that's how you want to hold your machine. And one thing we don't want to forget about is how to do your stencil. There's tons of different ways to do stencils out there that work way better on human skin or way better on fake skin. What I have found that works the best is speed stick. I did a whole video on the difference between speed stick and using other stencil primers, um, things like that. And speed stick works great for fake skins. Um, they stay really nice. They transfer really, really easily. So recommend going that route. Just make sure you're not using it on humans. The next point is going to be the fake skins that you are using. Now, this is probably one of the biggest points out there when you are first starting out, because if you go buy a ton of really cheap fake skins on Amazon, you're going to have so many issues trying to make solid lines, learn shading, and especially with color, it's just not going to happen. So you're gonna spend a ton of time trying to figure out what's going on when in all actuality, it's just the fake skins that you're using. I actually did a review on the fake skins on Amazon and they turned out terrible. I wasn't able to make a solid line. It felt like I was tattooing through rubber instead of like a fake skin texture. Um, they're not stretchy at all. So it's just really, really hard to tattoo on them even if you know what you're doing. So highly recommend you get some fake skins like Franken skins, um, Pound of Flesh, or Real Skins. Those are the ones that I have found work really, really great and I don't have any issues with them at all. Okay, now we'll get into the actual tattooing process. What to do, what to not do, things like this. So whenever you're setting everything up, you want to set up like you would normally with human beings. So you want everything wrapped. You want to get used to wrapping everything that you're using. 
saran wrapping your workstation everything you need to do to have it sanitary i know you're only tattooing on fake skins at this point but you still want to get used to that repetitive motion so when you do transition over everything's down pat you don't have to worry about am i doing this right or what's going on over here so repetitive nature is key with tattooing if you do everything the exact same way it's going to help you out a ton you're not going to be super stressed out when you do transition into tattooing on human beings and then from there, what I use during the tattoo process of fake skins is just Vaseline. I'll make a really light coat over my stencil after letting it dry for four hours and tattoo just dabbing at the lines. And what that's going to do is not make your stencil smear everywhere. Um, the Vaseline helps be able to pick up the ink and not have it smear and stick to everything. And you don't have to use like water, green soap, anything like that on these fake skins. Using Vaseline will do just fine. And then from there, it's all practice. All you gotta do is take the time to incorporate each one of these steps and doing them as much as you can. The more practice you get, the more time you're going to be able to put into changing little things every time you tattoo to create a good or great tattoo. So I hope this was able to help out some of the new people getting into tattoo, knowing the steps needed to get into learning how to tattoo, what you need, um, what kind of not to do and what to do. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have found this video helpful and you would like to be mentored by artists like me and other mentors from Tattooing 101, I left a link underneath this video for you. Inside our Artist Accelerator program, we break down step by step how to tattoo from start to finish, even if you are just a beginner. So if you're tired of trying to figure out everything on your own and want to skip years of trial and error to become a professional tattoo artist, I recommend you check it out.